I believe that ArcBlock is amazing. And the reason why is because I believe that its native token called ABT could hypothetically go to the price of $100 during this bull run. And of course, nothing I say is financial advice nor a guarantee. But you got to think about this. When it comes to ArcBlock, it's actually trying to solve such a major issue. Now, sometimes people don't understand this, but let me explain. You know, if we take a look at the process of decentralized application and blockchain development, you know, it's been noted that it's been kind of, you know, annoying. It's been kind of hard, right? People like to say that, oh man, it's just very difficult overall. But of course, when it comes to ArcBlock, it does have a solution because it's looking to simplify the process of decentralized application and blockchain development. And I think this right here is key because if you think about it, there's thousands of decentralized applications out there. You know, there's so many projects out there, right? But this is just the tip, in my opinion, of the iceberg, because I think there's going to be more to come in the future as the crypto space overall continues to grow, as blockchain adoption continues to increase. It's only fair to assume that there's going to be more projects, more decentralized applications, more blockchains that are going to pop up. So, of course, ArcBlock understands this and they focus on that, simplifying that creation, right, of the process of doing so. This is how amazing they are. And I really love that when it comes to it because it's actually a serious project. It's not focused on some random caca nonsense. However, besides that point, any component or application on ArcBlock, it should be noted that it's actually either a blocklet or made up of a blocklet. So yeah, just take that into consideration. Furthermore, you know, we take a look at how applications on ArcBlock can support almost any mainstream blockchain service, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, and many others, you know, pretty much the major blockchains, you know, ArcBlock has that covered. That's how amazing they are. Now, let's not forget, when it comes to ArcBlock, it's even focused on AI. And I'm not joking. And what do I mean specifically by this? Let me show you what I'm talking about. Because, for instance, you know, it has an AI kit. Now, this, quite essentially, it's been stated that it enables any application to have AI capabilities, which I think is impressive because if you take a look at the AI market, yeah, sure, some of the hype did die down, but I think better days are ahead because even according to Grandview Research, the AI market is predicted to be worth nearly $2 trillion by 2030. That's insane. That's bigger than some countries' GDP. Keep in mind, the GDP of Canada back in 2022 was around $2 trillion. So yeah, this figure is actually very impressive in my opinion. Now I get it, it's not fair to compare it to a GDP, but it's just to put some you know scale to this number just to give it some perspective. But even besides that, for the people out there that say that, wow, AI is done, all this type of stuff, it's caca. No, I disagree. I think better days are ahead. But again, it's just a matter of time. And it's kind of crazy to think about how 2030 isn't even that far away at this point. We're nearing 2025, which is kind of insane. So basically, just around five years away, man, AI does have a lot of potential. And guess what's going to happen once the wave for AI kicks back in again? Once the hype, once the FOMO starts entering back in again? Something like ArcBlock, it's waiting in the wings because, again, it has an AI aspect to it. After all, it has an AI kit. So that right there is going to play to the advantage of it because ArcBlock, it's waiting in the wings. It's not going to chase the trend of AI later on. It's not going to do that. It's anticipating the resurgence of AI and quite essentially its future potential as well. And I think that right there is far better because let's say I'm surfing in the ocean. Is it much better if I wait for the wave, put myself in a prime position to catch the wave, or I try to chase it while paddling on my board and then the wave is like 60 feet away. That makes no sense, man. You know, I'm not going to be able to swim faster than the waves in the ocean or paddle, I should say. Just impossible. Much better anticipating something as opposed to chasing it. And when it comes to arc block, anticipating that, again, the AI market, man, I really love that when it comes to them. You know, furthermore, arc block, it's even focused on decentralized identity as well. And I think this market right here also has a lot of potential. Now, it's predicted to have potential that's not as great as AI, but I still think it's amazing nonetheless, because according to Grandview Research, yet again, because they like to predict things, by 2030, the decentralized identity market is expected to be worth over $100 billion. So yeah, that's insane. So when it comes to ArcBlock, they pretty much don't miss. Focus on solving such an amazing problem, focused on AI, focus on decentralized identity. I mean, what more can I ask for? I think this is pretty much, you know, such a complete project. But as of right now, it's just a waiting game because people like to say, wow, ABT is not even at the price of like $50. What do you mean by that, man? $100, all this type of stuff. But again, around a year from right now, I think things could look so different because you take a look at the Bitcoin ETF, the number of institutional investors. You know, I think Bitcoin, even though 
this year did have a pullback from its all-time high, I think better days are ahead because around a year from right now, you know, 100,000, 150,000, that wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. And if Bitcoin were to do that, it's only fair to assume that naturally, you know, altcoins, they're going to go along with the ride as well. And ABT at that point, at the price of $100, I don't see why not. And it's not like the market cap would be crazy or anything like that, because considering current circulating supply, if it were to go to the price of $100, at that point, market cap would only be around $10 billion. Now, why do I say only? It's because we take a look at how something like BNB reached over $100 billion in market cap back in 2021. Also that year, we saw SHIB reach around $40 billion. We've seen Doge reach over $80 billion. So this is like peanuts in the grand scheme of things. Now, granted, Shiba Inu Doge has a lot of fans, a lot of hype, but come on, you know, ABT can't go to around $10 billion market cap, which is like way less than them. I think it's like easy peasy. Now, also on top of that, BNB reached over $100 billion. I mean, come on, this isn't too much to ask for. And also take this into consideration. This boron could be so magical. There's over 600 million crypto owners as of right now, according to Crypto.com research, which at first glance may not seem that much to some people because they're like, okay, there's so many billions of people in this world. What do you mean by this? But actually, in the peak of the 2021 bull run, there was roughly only around 300 million crypto owners. Yet, still even despite that, though, the bull run that year was regarded as being fantastic. Some people consider it the greatest of all time. So imagine this time around with this many new crypto owners. Could you imagine the FOMO, the buying pressure, the buying volume? It's going to be insane, hypothetically, of course. And I really can't wait. It's just a waiting game at this point. I can only control things that are within my control, like being patient, my dedication, you know, dollar cost averaging. Any time an income, acquiring, holding, and just waiting, that's it. You know, I can control that, but I can't wave a magic wand and like demand ABT to pump right now or like two weeks ago or like whatever the case may be. I can't do that. All I got to do is just stay patient because again, that's what I can control. So when you combine the amazing fundamental qualities of what, you know, Bitcoin is, you take a look at again, the Bitcoin ETF, the number of institutional investors, you take a look at, again, how there's more cryptocurrency owners than ever before in history at least according to crypto.com research, because again, there's over 600 million crypto owners. If you combine all those factors, again, this boron could be so magical. And also on top of that, ABT at the price of $100 wouldn't seem surprising to me at that point. And also around a year from right now, things again could look so different because historically speaking, altcoins, they typically peak around 18 months after a Bitcoin halving event as a worst case scenario. Now the Bitcoin halving event happened back in April So around 18 months from then is October of next year. Could you imagine that? That's only around a year away at this point. Now, of course, that's historically, again, a worst case scenario. Could happen sooner. But let's say it does happen a little bit later. Fine, because if anything, it's actually more time for me to accumulate ABT. So it's not bad. You know, some people like to think it's CAC or whatever, waiting a little bit longer. But, you know, I don't mind. Happens earlier. It's great. You know, going to Sizzler time, going to Applebee's, you know, Chili's. If you know, you know. But besides that, Again, if I have to wait a little bit later, fine by me, because I think that ABT, man, if I have more time to accumulate it, I don't think it's bad at all. And again, ABT at the price of $100 during this bull run, with all those amazing factors taken into consideration, again, just how amazing Arc Block is, and also just how fantastic this bull run could be, again, $100, I don't see why not during this bull run. Man, I think it's that special. I'm extremely bullish on Arc Block. And make sure to subscribe if you gain value from this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. It's been Lee the Captain. I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm a peace. Bye.